office is called upper cervical specific and what that means is we focus on the top two vertebrae in the neck. The top vertebra is called the atlas, the second vertebra is called the axis, and those two vertebra house the brain stem. Um, so the brain stem and the brain is basically what controls all function in the body and our concern is whether those top two vertebrae are under the body's control or they, the person has been in a trauma and that vertebra has been kicked out of its normal range of motion, become locked and putting pressure on the spinal cord. So when a patient comes into our office, we run the patient through a series of tests uh, that will tell us whether the top vertebra is locked out of position or not. If we find that they have an atlas misalignment, we'll then take uh, six specialized x-rays that tell us exactly how that vertebra has misaligned off the floor of the skull. Once we've determined exactly what position the vertebra is off, we then will lay them on a table in the other room and we'll make a specific contact either on this part of the vertebra or this part of the vertebra and it's a gentle tap underneath the ear the patient doesn't really feel anything. So the correction that we give, there's no twisting and popping or pulling. It's a gentle correction to slide the vertebra back under the body's control. And once the vertebra that's been locked under the head from the trauma they were in is back where it belongs, then the interference to the central nervous system has been removed, and then the body will go through a healing process. After the patient's initial uh, intake and their initial x-ray and their initial correction, they're monitored over a period of time. So we have a set of objective criteria that we use in the office to determine whether the interference to the spinal cord has returned or has been removed. If on a particular visit the patient comes in and the vertebra is where it should be, there's no correction that's made. And so one of the distinctions that we like to make in upper cervical is we aren't treating symptoms, conditions, or diseases. We're correcting structural problems that have an influence on the central nervous system. And once that structural uh, problem has been corrected and the nervous system is able to function the way it's supposed to, the, the patient will go through a healing process. And through that process, we'll monitor them to determine whether the vertebral misalignment has returned or it's where it should be. If they come in on a particular visit and the testing indicates the vertebra is where it should be, no correction is made. If they come into the office and the testing shows the atlas is misaligned again, then a specific correction is made to correct it. And so they're monitored through time. So within our healthcare system, there's two main paradigms of philosophy on health. One says that health comes from outside the body. We need to give the body a drug, a surgery, an herb, to get it to work better. And then the second paradigm is what we call inside out. And what that means is everything someone needs to be healthy generally is already inside their body. So the, the cause of ill health must be an internal thing also. So the objective of upper cervical care isn't to treat the symptom from the outside in, is to remove an interference that exists inside the body, an interference to the nervous system, get it clear so the body's own recuperative innate powers from the inside out can go through recovery process.